welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. And I just want to talk about or share a little bit about why we feel lost in the world. Okay. This is a big one. Everybody feels lost at some point. Okay. But what's happening is when we come into the world, when we're born into the body, into our mother's womb, the moment we come in, there's a forgetting. Okay? A forgetting of who we are, where we come from. We forget all of the things we've learned. <laughs> we forget our past lives. We forget our connection to creation. We forget everything. Okay, So as we come in into the womb, the first thing we're experiencing is our mother's energy. Okay, Now, most parents, most people are not like totally awake and aware and totally liberated and enlightened. Okay, everybody's got something, many some things. So just imagine, you know, you come into the womb and you're living, you know, you're in your mother's body and her energy is all around you. And so you begin to take on your mother's energy. You begin to take on her wounding, her misperceptions, her beliefs, her fears, her anxieties. You take on mom. The moment you take on mom, you are now disconnected from the total truth of who you are. Okay, you're you're in this mix, this enmeshment of mom's energy and your energy. Okay, so then you come into the world, and here's the thing: what we are, what we all of us are really looking for is unconditional love. We're thinking it's supposed to be out there, unconditional love from out there. That's not what we're looking for. Well, we're looking for that unconditional love that resides within that we already are, okay? But you got all that energy of your mother, okay? You also have all your carryover from all your lifetimes that you haven't cleared and healed. So now you have all of your wounding, we're just going to call it wounding, misperceptions of reality, conclusions and beliefs that caused us to feel like we are alone, separate, in the world, okay? Now coming in with the mom, now we got hers as well. <laughs> so we take on moms, we feel moms, and we come into the world. And because we don't have any higher consciousness teachings, we begin to live and believe that we're being victimized, that there must be something wrong with us, that we're unloved, we're not wanted, we don't belong. And think about this, if you were in the womb and your mother didn't want you, maybe she tried to abort you, or maybe she just had the feelings that she didn't want you, or maybe she was terrified or afraid to have a baby, or maybe you know she couldn't take care of a baby, you know, all the different reasons, all the different versions that we've all experienced in some way, it get anchored in, okay? So we get, that all gets anchored into the subconscious, it's anchored in to the, to the soul imprint, and then we come in into the body, and then we're you know, trying to get love out there, okay? Because we learn immediately what's the first thing we, are, we, <laughs> we hear a lot of. No, 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 don't do that. No, don't put that in your mouth. No, 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 okay? So we're also learning that our curiosity, our, our you know, that innate part of us that just wants to explore as we're waking up to this world, the intensity, the beauty, the incredible experience of being in a physical form. If you watch baby, they start discovering you know, their bodies, their hands, their legs, and discovering that it's them, you know. So all these things are happening in that self-discovery. And whatever we anchored in subconsciously on the emotional level and the carryover is still going to be with us, okay. And as we're evolving and waking up, the, the energies, the wounding will start to play itself out, okay. But coming back to why do we feel lost in the world is because we, in a sense, it's not that we're lost, so per, per se, it's that we are disconnected, okay? And what we do is because everything is out there, you know what I mean? Like if you, when you, if you, with your eyes, you're seeing out there, you're hearing, you're smelling, you're tasting, even if you're born without, you know, eyesight, blinded or deaf, deaf and blind, you still have senses, they're still, you know, can feel being touched, okay? But the point is, is that everything feels as though it's out there. It's about out there, okay? So we're trying to get love. We're extracting love. We get in trouble by with our parents, with our mother. And there's that fear. We have an innate thing that if you know, we don't want to risk 
getting our parents angry with us. We don't want to risk feeling emotions because if we do, that means someone might not love us because if we hurt their feelings, love will be taken away. Okay? So we, we come into the world in, on some level needing and wanting love externally, looking for it out there, which we will never find. And, and forget that it's all about what's inside. We, we have to find that love from within. But again, you know, all the carryover from past lives, your mother's energy, your father's energy, other people's energy, that's going to be in your energy field. You're going to be feeling and believing and concluding. And then, you know, the false self gets developed. We start creating a false self, our ego, trying to become something that we believe other people will appreciate or accept, and then we'll be loved, okay? So... This is a journey for everybody. Everybody wants to be loved unconditionally. Everybody wants to be loved out there. Okay? We want our mommies to love us. We want our daddies. To we want our siblings, our grandparents. We want our friends. We just want to be loved. Okay? We're all seeking love. Love me, love me. Okay? And what we're not getting is, wait a second. Oh, wait a second here. My mom's telling me she loves me, but I don't feel it. Hmm. Oh, my... Husband or wife is telling me they love me, but I'm not feeling it. Hmm. Oh, but wait. When I tell them I love them, I can feel it. Hmm. What do you think's up with that? Here's the thing. <laughs> you love you, rises up from within. That's how we feel it. Okay. We're not going to feel it because someone says it to us. If we are feeling it, it's because it's rising up from within. So since love always rises up from within. We're never going to feel it out there, but yet we're still looking for it out there. So we're going to feel lost, looking for the one. Oh, where's the chosen one? Where's the one who's going to love me? I'm looking for the one. Where, where, where's that one to love me unconditionally? Okay. So we're all seeking that all the while. Wait a second. Oh, love's right here, but I can't feel it because I got too much debris in front of it. But, and then that, and in that, I will continue to look and do and change and become and change this and eat that and don't do this and become that, talk this way, look this way, think this way, so that I'll be loved. Still feeling lost. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so basically, in a nutshell, we feel lost because we're disconnected from ourselves. Okay, we're disconnected from our own self-love and we're looking for it outside of the self. Now, we want to really discover and come back and start to know love and not feel lost, then we have to be willing to face our misperceptions, our conclusions, our beliefs. We have to face ourselves so that we can come back in to the core of our own self, into the pure frequency of pure love and light that's inside of everyone. Sounds easy. Not. <laughs> if it was easy, we'd all be there. Okay, But basically, it really does mean Facing the self, okay? So you can use your life, use your experiences, use your reactions as the doorway in to the self, okay? Look for when you have a reaction, that's showing you something that's already living inside. There's a wound in there. It's not about anybody else. You're the one having the reaction. You're the one you're living with. You're the one that you're feeling all the time. So you're the one where love's going to come from. It's going to come from within. And as we unravel more and more of our misperceptions and, uh, and clear out some of these debris, the wounding and, mis and all of that hurt that we have, deep sadness and loss, all those feelings, all these emotions. When we face those places, we literally land back in our own self and we organically and naturally begin to experience that feeling of loving the self, self-love, you know, laughing about ourselves, loving ourselves, N not judging ourselves, not finding fault. You know, it's more of an acceptance of this is the body I have. This is, this is what I've created. And this is where I am. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes to my experience. And I'll bring life on and I'm just going to keep showing up and sharing the gift of me. And that's what everybody wants is just the real, the real, true, authentic you. Everyone's looking for that. And we're all wanting that as well. We want the true, authentic person to present. So again, people, we won't stop feeling lost. If you're trying to go after, I want to end feeling lost, you're not going to find your way there. It's the unraveling. It's the clearing the debris. It's the clearing the way, the clearing out of misperceptions, all these 
feelings that have been building up your entire life and lifetimes that you've culminated all into this moment right here, right now, and you create a fine mess and a total disconnect. And now we're really looking out there for somebody love me. Okay, out there, where? Where's the chosen one? Where's my soulmate? Okay. So it's time to face what's up. It's time to face ourselves. If you keep understanding and knowing that mm, 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 it's in me, what I'm looking for is in me. When I find it in me, then I will draw to me another person who has found it inside of them. And then we have two humans coming together that have unconditional love for the self. And guess what will happen? Unconditional love for other. How cool is that? All right? So again, you can't cure being lost, feeling lost in the world, okay? But you can heal and open and become very connected and sharing the true gift of you and knowing love, love from within. When you know that, it doesn't mean that life won't have its ups and downs, but your journey and your ability to ride that wave, so to speak, and ride the river of life, everything is much easier, okay? Things will happen. You don't take it personally. You know, you find yourself like, all right, all right, accepting, waking up even more, coming to more peace within and feeling more and more love, unconditional love for all of humanity, no matter what they are experiencing. Also, that need to save somebody, to change somebody, to do something for somebody, to make it different, it dissipates, it goes away. Because when we're holding and we're living in that state of our own unconditional love, we also see and know and understand every human being, every sentient being is on their own journey, solo journey that we're all together doing, and they will find their way. No one needs to be saved, okay? People need help occasionally. We, give, you know, we can help, but we cannot save anyone. Everyone has to find their own way back to themselves, okay? So the world feels lost. Everyone feels lost. Everyone's in chaos, crisis. But as we start looking at ourselves, we begin to connect much more deeply. And then we begin to live more at peace, more acceptance, the ability to be in life, not closing the heart, just saying yes, and just feeling love, unconditional love for all the suffering that everyone else is experiencing, okay? Knowing that when we face ourselves, this is the benefit, this is the gift, and it's the gift of unconditional love for ourselves. <laughs>